Ah, yeah. Like and subscribe my YouTube content, guys. Finger guns. I'm not at all awkward. Oh, and comment. That's the other one. I kind of want to pick Bristle back here. I mean, ah, uh, Bristle against Omni, though. Kind of want to pick Bristle anyways. Ooh, I have last pick. Enigma. I don't think I'm going to pick Enigma. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try out the good old Bristle back. Bristle is like pretty decent here, I think. They don't really have anyone who naturally is going to want to build break. Um, Omni is like kind of annoying just because of DA, but I mean, you know, who cares? Let's just go Bristle anyways. Typically on Bristle, I like to just go something like this build. You can go like double mango, double branch if you want, but triple ma- like, I don't know. I like to be able to pressure lane a lot with Bristleback, so triple mango just kind of helps enable you to be able to do that. Um, but, you know, you can you can dabble with starting item builds on Bristle. I mean, honestly, I haven't even played too much Bristle this patch, so I may not entirely know what I'm talking about, but I kind of know what I'm talking about, so... You know, it just, you do you. Um, so we're gonna be against a Faceless Void Omni Knight lane. So double melee lane, we should be able to pressure fairly easily. Um, realistically, this game, I'm gonna want to go... Time for a good scrap. I definitely want Eternal Shroud at some point. I don't, so normally in Bristle, I think that you you want to rush Vanguard just because the buildup is so nice for you and everything. But this game they don't have like too much physical damage, uh, or at least like right click damage. Like, faceless void SF. Neither of neither of their damage output is entirely coming from like physical right click. I mean like kind of faceless void, but you know the majority of his damage is just coming from bashes. So. Vanguard this game is like kind of eh, but I still might just build it just because Vanguard is good on good on Bristle. The build up is just way too nice, but I I think I'm gonna definitely value the hood um, first and foremost. I don't know. I don't know. We'll cut. We'll see how the lane goes. Sometimes, sometimes the lane's just going so well, and I'm just like, I just want to walk over to the secret shop and buy me a good old Vanguard. And that's that's my thought process in some games. You never know with me. You never know. Just gonna run up here, try and get the bounty rune. Never been outclicked in my life. Oh my goodness! Imagine getting outclicked. Doesn't happen here. Not on Monkeys Forever stream. I'm definitely a little out of practice when it comes to Bristol. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub, Jethro Monk. I appreciate it, dude. Hope you're doing well. One step at um, but yeah, so mostly in lane, I'm just gonna be using quills to, like, I don't know. I don't want to spam quills too early in the lane. At level three is kind of when I actually want to start pressuring with quills, especially since we're against an Omni Void, like level one, you know, we're not gonna get too much value out of spamming uh, quills. I'm mostly just gonna use them to help me last hit when needed. All right, well, that quill would not have gotten me a last hit, so whatever. I just messed up by hitting that creep too many times. All right, Rubik needs to hit this Omni way more. Um, at level two, I'm going to be getting a point in... Uh, can you not steal my CS when I can actually get it? Um, but yeah, we're just kind of chilling for the early levels. I'm going to send out a magic wand as soon as I can. Wand is just a super valuable item to have on Bristol. Um, obviously, Bristol has major mana issues. I'm probably going to... I'm either going to get a bottle or a soul ring. Um, hmm, I should have used quills there. I should have used quills there. Should have done it. 
Radiant Sire has been oh, killed. By all means. I'm just kind of shoving in the the lane naturally. Um. Ah, see that one Rubik should have stolen, but I don't know. I probably scared him by saying don't steal CS that I can get. Uh oh. Of course he bashes. Unfortunate. Time for a good scrap. That way. Indeed. Oh, I'm just trying to. I kind of. Yeah, I know. Ah! Alright, lane got a little awkward there. I definitely should have held the wave and let Rubik pull. But, so that was my mistake. My goodness, this guy is just bashing so much. And now that I'm three, I can kind of pressure them a bit. I think Rubik might have clipped the Omni. Because I don't see the Omni. Dude, he bashes on every deny. Oh my god, that's so bad. on the I think I think it did clip on me. But alright. Uh, now that we're level three, we can actually pressure a bit. With quills. Oh, never mind. Omni just pulled. And the reason I didn't wanna go, um I didn't wanna go uh goo at level two. Is because, uh, it's because both of them have magic six, and, uh, well, I mean, realistically, goo is just a really good spell to pressure with early on, but. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, you can get can get goo at level two if you feel you can actually pressure. But I'm against a void Omni. I'm not gonna be able to pressure them too easily, especially because Omni can just purge off goo. I'll sort this out. I'm I'm just I'm just deciding to go for the bottle here. Uh, Soul Ring is probably better if the enemy team is like uh, high physical damage because the Soul Ring gives you armor in addition to everything. But um, I'm just I'm just a bottle bottle fan in general. Hey monkeys, big fan. Oh, no. You're doing well, much love. Oh no, dropping boots. I'm probably just gonna get the soaring uh, as well now. I should I should have waited to get my bottle refilled. Jesus, this guy is just a bash master. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't actually refill my bottle by or on the bounty rinse or anything, so I'm just gonna go for the soul ring. We're gonna have mana issues this game, but that's okay. Sometimes you have mana issues, and you just need a soul ring. Usually, I would say you don't want to go both bottle and soul ring. Uh, I, I would ideally like to get a ring of health here, which I still might get a ring of health. I haven't fully committed to the soul ring yet. I'm not quite sure. I I probably do want to get the Ring of Health, uh, if at all possible. Just because Ring of Health health gives us a lot of uh, lane sustain and everything. But um. You can hold stealth if you want. Uh, I'm fine. 
Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get the ring of health. So I can actually sustain against void. I'm coming. If he uses chrono, he always. So, I'm just going for the Omni. I'm not going to be killing the Void there, I don't think. Oh, Void. Cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Your middle tower is You want some of this, son? You want it? Maybe, maybe I could have killed Void if I went for him. I don't think so, though. I'll just go Void next time. It's a free kill. Carry. I, I, I think the Invoker could have gone Void, but me going on Void doesn't actually yeah, I did. I went on too much there. I walked away. <laughs> I know Cole's not either. I don't think it was my job to go in the void there, but it's fine. Um, all right, yeah, I'm just going for the ring of health because why not? I'm so not sure if I'm gonna go for Vanguard first or uh. Next wave, maybe. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I really want a Lotus Orb first this game. I think. Lotus Orb is kind of necessary against Void, in my opinion, because uh, time dilation is just way too good against us, says Bristle. Um, but now that we're level 6, uh, we can play really in Void's face, um, as long as we are using our... Uh, I'm stacking this again if you want to farm it. As long as we're getting our Warpath stacks up, we no, can, we can uh, kill Slush. We can kill Slush. We can pressure the Void fairly easily now in lane. But he has stacked the, uh, whatchamacallit? He has the Ward here. He has the Ward. So we're just gonna clear this. And as I said, we can aggress now because we are bristle back. Ah! What? I didn't think I would die there, in all honesty. I thought I would live. I was genuinely surprised when I died there. Unfortunate. But, you know, this is why I don't consider myself a Bristleback player. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, still gonna go for Lotus Orb here. Um, I think I, I think I'm actually just gonna get the hood first, and then I'm gonna gonna go for Lotus Orb after. The Lotus Orb isn't like necessary as a first first item, but I I, I should have bought the uh, hood before I left base. There. But we do want Lotus Orb early because uh, we don't we don't want to get our spells delayed by too much. The reason I'm coming mid though is because we have the 10 minute siege here, um, and I just want to start pressuring towers. Uh, as much as possible. I know SF is gonna be able to mostly negate our pressure, but it's fine. I'm just gonna run on him and... I'm coming. Oh, my Alright, well, it's fine. Siege creep dead. We forced three middle. I'm just gonna walk back top now. Not much else to do. The second tower. One step at a time. Um, I guess I could have stayed mid. I didn't really. I wasn't really thinking about lush pressuring there. Here we go. I probably should have stayed in the area for mid a little longer, but that's fine. Oh, 
Ruin it, cakebroke sunshine. So basically, uh, all I'm trying to do is farm up, get my core items this game, which, in my opinion, is going to be Lotus Orb and uh, and Hood, uh, or Eternal Shroud, rather. And then, um, but basically, until then, I'm just trying to force the enemy team to react to my movements around the map. No, he does not. Maybe like 40 more seconds. And we have a shit ton of HP regen right now, so we can just kind of... Holy shit! Well, that was a Murano ult. Or an Invisorin. No, I guess... I guess it was just Invisorin? Or was it an ult? I don't know. Whatever. We died. Such is life. We got popped. But, SF all down, so... Actually, go. Cool. That's pressure mid. No, I suffer. Here we go. Oh. You're what a surprise. Under attack. Okay. Uh, someone. I defend Boro. Someone want to defend Boro. All right. All right. We force him all middle. I'm walking top and taking T1. Your bottom tower is under attack. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm still trying to basically avoid the enemy team. Uh, we are not going to be too strong too early on. They have a really obnoxious lineup in all honesty. So until uh, until we get the core items that we're kind of looking for, um, it's kind of hard to just walk at them and do bristleback things like we want to do. Like I I don't even know what's happening, but it's fine. We're gonna take this tower. We're gonna be happy about it. If you're having like tons of my ma uh, mana problems, you definitely can just buy the arcane boots early on if you're not committing to the early treads. Weaver uh, or somebody. I'm doing mostly fine on mana, so especially because I have the arcane ring. Back. Yes. Oi, one step at a time. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. This guy's rushing a I'm a little scared right now, so I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go go to our tri camp, try and sack the ancients and big camp. Just try to maximize our farm efficiency as much as possible. Yes. It's not time yet. You get it. Nice. It's not time yet. You get it. Let's on your Yeah, I'm running. I'm running top. Kill us. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, we didn't sack that, unfortunately. Badge, I thought I got the double sack. Um. Alright, so we're getting close to our Lotus. With our Lotus, we're probably going to want to run a mid tower again. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to, like, play on Siege Creeps uh, against heroes like Shadow Fiend because they just insta clear, uh, insta clear your creep waves. And I'm not at a point that I can just like tank everything from the enemy. Not yet. We'll get there. We are bristle. But just not yet. I'd like to keep pressuring the tower. Um, what's the 10 talent? So honestly, both of these talents are pretty fine, but I'm, I just love movement speed talents in general. Uh, movement speed talents just kind of, they, they are basically GPM dead. talents because you just get around the map faster, you're able to farm more camps, you're Don't just, you're able to, you're able to party a lot more with move speed talents. Big fan of move speed talents on all heroes. I'm run all team, run all. Here we go. All right, looks like there's going to be a fight going out here. We have a Lotus Orb already. 
SF use BKB and all. Let's chill. Slow for I have Lotus now, I'm pretty strong. Here we go. Winner. Um, so we're probably gonna go for Eternal Shroud Bloodstone now. Um, Eternal Shroud Bloodstone just gives us a shit ton of spell lifesteal, and, um, it just, it just makes us real strong. Alright, well, our entire team is just kinda dying. Yo, Rubik, you good? You gonna play the game? Did you clone up? Yes, they did. Oi, one step at a time. Uh. By all means. Alright, guess we're just farming towards Eternal Shroud. Have a word. Until our team is up. Okay, I'll, I'll look for now that they have no chrono, we though. We should try and pressure mid, no chrono. Yeah, no chrono, no bullshit. We're gonna go. Don't smoke, just push me. I'll sort this out. Yeah. I can't put my arm by. We're gonna roll watch it, dude. We're gonna roll watch it. Invis SF. Invis SF. Invis SF. Yeah, Invis. Let's get back. Let's get back. We don't wanna rush. Alright, I'm just trying to zone in, uh, zone them from my team right now. Nice, that's up wasted. Oh, like that. Oh, we are so chill. We are so chill. This is when we just run in. They got nothing left in their arsenal. This is where we just own them. We are bristle back, fear us. Oh, kill, kill wood, kill wood. Alright, nice. so <laughs> I know I'm just kind of like memeing there a little bit, but that really is what's going through my head. Um, so the, the idea of kind of how we're aiming to take fights at the moment is just we're trying to kite out spells until or while still frontlining for our team. So our entire job as Bristle is basically to make our, our team feel protected. And uh, as you saw, I was just trying to zone the entire backline. Uh, and like single-handedly, I was zoning the Omni Knight, the Shadow Fiend, and the Mirana. Um, and eventually the Leshrac as well. And the Void just got completely isolated. And um, it, it allows my team to just like safely kill the void while uh, while I'm like pretty much zoning everyone else um, and eventually hopefully we get to the point where we are a lot tankier and we can do that a lot more confident uh, confidently um, but until then you know we still kind of have to farm and Keep our items up and everything. Weaver and so now that we have Eternal Shroud, uh, why not? I'm just gonna run at this guy because he just blinked in. Try and force him to use BKB. Because he has nothing to do. And there we go. Got BKB. Um, but yeah. Part of, uh, part of Bristle is just kind of like being able to gauge your strength um, in every scenario and just like knowing when you're able to actually apply pressure. Um, apply pressure to like certain heroes and like what heroes you're trying to avoid in fights and uh, you know, what what is actually going to enable you to do bristle things. So again, like as I kind of talked about earlier, the reason we wanted the Lotus Orb so early is because of uh, Faceless Void's time dilation. If we don't have this early, uh, if we don't have this early, um, this early Lotus Orb, then Void is just going to cause a lot of problems for us, or time dilation in in particular is going to cause a lot of problems for us. But uh, you know, we came up with a solution for that. So now, 
we, 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 e even though we're not like this unstoppable force yet, we are in a very, very strong position. Um, I'm gonna bottle that haste room up. So I still kind of want to like try and create pressure for my team however okay. possible um, By just kind of playing in the enemy team's face like as you can see this less track is just kind of he, He's super scared of me He doesn't want to move up in the lane and you know pulse nova this wave for free just because I'm showing my face so confidently here um, You know he obviously is gonna do this but th this gives my team information this creates space for my invoker for my weaver to you know do the things that they want to do apparently we took ro oh yeah we did take ro <laughs> that was after the mid team fight i'm sorry i'm so out of it because i'm trying to do educational games or in educational games. all right but you know our weaver's strong with aegis so we're just kind of running at them Oh no, I got chrono. I didn't use Eternal Shroud. This is... Ah! Uh... Alright, it's fine. We are so strong. I'm just gonna chase the Omni and SF now. Zone them out. Five, I'm just gonna run. Lotus myself right now because I did not want to take extra damage from the Shadow Fiend. I'm gonna buy my second Spell Life Seal item. I forget what they're called, Voodoo Master or whatever. I should have used Lotus on myself. I messed up. I thought I would maybe be able to save my Rubik or something by Lotusing him, and that just wasn't the case, so. I don't know, man. I don't know. I should have Lotus myself there. We might have been able to get a Marana kill. But it's fine. Whatever. The fight ended up okay. You know, boy just jumped in. We can... Okay, I got two psycho. I was just alone. <laughs> I'm losing focus, guys. Um. Yeah, that was just bad. Couldn't have done that. 15 talent, I typically just take the health as well. I just maxed Goo first because I was going on the void there. Or we were team fighting or whatever. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. You, you can take the health talent at 15 if you want. It's fine to max Goo first as well. It's all fine. Uh, so we kind of just want to play to farm our Bloodstone at this point. Um, they're gonna have Chrono up again in like 30 seconds or so, I believe. This will sort you but our late game is like really, really good. Um, so we shouldn't feel too pressured to try and end the game like early or anything. They, they do have Faceless Void here. though, which obviously is like, you know, kind of considered the ultimate late game, but... Oh, he has an Arcane Blink. I just went... Pop! Okay, no, it's a faulty. Well, that certainly changes things a little bit. They use BKB on Shadowfin too. Can you put an order? I can catch Shadowfin. There's no BKB. Like right now. Like... Uh, they have to run all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just farm, just farm, just farm. Um, I'm just gonna TV bottom, farm some more. 
Okay. I see heroes running down to us. That void farming top. The only hero that can kind of just kill me right now is the Shadow Fiend. There it is. Alright. Okay. Oh, he did not manage to do it. Hooray! Um. No, it's a fault here. Maybe you can join. Yeah, I'm just gonna start running towards the middle. Oh yeah, it's past 20 minutes. I mm. I probably should have gotten my ag shard before going for this bloodstone. But uh, mm. do I actually want the ag shard right now? I I don't even know. Oh my god. I've been arrowed. Alright, I'm just gonna buy the Ag Shard. It appears we are just too weak right now. I don't know, man. They have wards all over here, bro. I was on the higher ground, he just yelled me. The Ag Shard is actually so incredibly broken on Bristle. I'm kind of sad that I forgot to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they did not. I'm so not used to the Ag Shard, so it's fine. Uh, the reason Ag Shard is like just so good on Bristol is it, it just allows you to pressure like really, really, really hard. Uh, luckily, I got my back to the left track there. Um, hmm. Well, good news is all their spells are down. Bad news is we're kind of chain beating. Uh, all right. Well, Void is zoned. I don't think he's going to be coming back. Stop chasing boys. Okay, I'm just muting this guy. I, I, having people try and backseat you while you're playing is so, it's so toxic. Don't do it. I don't care. I don't care if you're doing it to other people. Just don't backseat people while they're playing Dota. It's actually just so toxic. It doesn't help at all. Um... Like what? What we did was actually completely fine. Like we made it so the void was not no longer involved in uh, involved in the fight, and our team was just able to you know fight the other heroes plenty easy. And then we came back and killed the SF while when the void was like confirmed out of the fight. Uh, the Weaver is just crying about random shit because you know he's dead and he's watching you know us get kited, I suppose, to an extent, but. Uh, what we did was completely fine there. But as you can see, the Ag Shard, uh, I don't think I, they have any the Ag Shard is just right really good for helping you like farm more, and uh, it, it accelerates your farm speed. It makes your team fight a lot more threatening because uh, the enemy team just gets pressured a lot more in fights, and. Um, yeah, it's just Ag Shard on Bristle is just broken. Just, just buy it. You probably should try and buy it at 20 minutes, like every single game. But I just forgot about it this game, as I said. So such is life. We waited so long to start this. Holy fuck! Oh, me back needs a scratch. Yes. I am not ready. Indeed. Right over the road. I
I pretty much always go the quill sack regen. Or the, the quill sack regen, Sorry, the quill sack damage. Quill sack damage is just way too good to pass up. We're gonna run on the Omni here. We're not gonna be... The, the, like the void was already out there, so... No need to try and zone him. We're getting close to our blood zone, which is gonna be a super good timing for us. That might have been my fault. I honestly did not, did not even, I don't know. It's really hard for me to focus on what my team is saying. Enemy's middle tower has fallen. Uh, but yeah, I don't believe. Oh, in my opinion, we should not be trying to high ground right now. I think high grounding is psycho. The Lush and Omni are like already respawning. I uh, like it's actually psycho what we're doing right now. No BKBs, no BKBs. But it's working out. So I guess I will run over. I mean, nothing. can, can, uh, Maybe can you me? Can you order me? I really don't like this, but I'm doing it for the team. I really don't like that we're trying to high ground here. But sometimes you have to do things you don't like because your team is just psycho. For the team. The, like this is just so bad. I don't know why we're doing this, but it's fine. Open her out, probably. Poke her out a little bit. All right, he just used Mask of Madness, so hopefully he just dies here. Like he didn't. All right, well, there's no void, so I'm just gonna run in like a psycho. All right, we have successfully ran in like a psycho. Now we should just we get go. bounty runes. He's not gonna get bounty runes. All right, he's gonna get bounty runes. Lovely. Oh, this is so stressful. I really don't think that we should have been going high ground there. Um, with that Aegis, we definitely should have waited to take a fight outside of their base. Um, basically, when you when you high ground, you should not just be walking high ground for the sake of high grounding. Like, if we really wanted to poke there, I suppose we could have, but there's still a bot T2, a top T2. We're not really like, leading the game that uh that much right now so again it was just kind of psycho because the uh, omni and lesh were uh, they had maybe four seconds left on the respawn so there wasn't like a solid reason to really go high ground there we could have just taken over the whole map and just out farmed the enemy team for like three minutes and then force a team fight or something but uh instead we just kind of you know again walked out their high ground I don't know. It wasn't very good in my opinion. Maybe, maybe some people would disagree with me there, but I I don't think many people would. Oh, carry, carry, carry. Don't show um, lanes. Do not show lanes. They're probably more on ulti. Please be careful. Just hide, As just he hide. said, no one on the enemy team is, or is showing right now, so they're probably either smoked or Marana ulted. Uh, we see a void bottom SF top though, so we probably are going to be fine. Um. I'm gonna go for. Mm, I might go for Nullifier actually. Nullifier would be really good. We're kind of getting kited by the uh, Lushrak um, Ghost Scepter. Yeah, I want to get my BKB at the moment. Oh, he dropped a cheese for me. We're kind of getting kited by the Lushrak Ghost Scepter, and I'm, the Lushrak could even. Uh, Can I get that? Or the Lesher has a Yules as well. Like, Nullifier is just going to help us a lot in being able to actually uh, 
you know, catch them and not get kited as much. But uh, the enemy team has all, all their spells up, so I'm just kind of splitting up for my team and just pushing out lanes alone. It should be very difficult for the enemy team to kill me, um, unless, like, they bring everyone. So, uh... Oh, we have Rec... Uh, we have Rec Realm on, uh... On Rubik. He's on a smoke. And he really wants to fight, so, you know, why not? Let's just go. Let's go fight. Go, we can smoke. Go, go. Alright, so they smoked without me. That's fine. I'm a bristleback. I show in lanes. Go, 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 go. I run up. Set forward. Hey, let me get the haste, please. Let me get the haste. Lift, lift and do it. Well, that's certainly not what we wanted. They wasted like everything. Go, go, go. Uh... All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna get mega kited here. Doing our best. Doing our best. Doing our best. Doing our best. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not dead. I can't believe I'm not dead. I had so many heroes. <laughs> not like this. I'm just seeping out. This is psycho. Here we go. My goodness. It is not time yet. You get it. As you can see, though, we're pretty much invincible if the enemy team tries to go on us. If we if we kite them properly. Uh, but yeah, our our entire team's just dead, and we can only one v four for so long. So, hopefully I can get to this nullifier so I actually am able to kill the Leshrac and stuff. We could we could go for a BKB as well, but I mean, it's kind of just whatever at this point. Uh, Weaver take Tome, I think. The nullifier helps us actually... Uh-oh. Yeah, this is real, we need to kill him. The nullifier does like just as much as BKB, honestly. Oh baby, and we get spell life seal at level 25. I haven't hit level 25 yet. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> but again, we're just get the penta, bro. This shit is so good. Sure, I'll get the penta, bro. Unfortunate. Looks like we're about to. Ah, uh, we got broken. We're we're not living through this one. <laughs> like I tanked the shadow fiend ulti and the chrono, and you still can't kill anyone. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. Yeah, our weaver right is uh not doing too much. Unfortunate. Your bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Well, hopefully we don't lose here. Still have all of our tier twos up. 
maybe we do, because we're dead for 70 with no buyback, but we'll see. Um... I guess I haven't really spoken about why I did this item build. The reason that you want to go uh, the Eternal Shroud Bloodstone build is you just get a shit ton of spell life seal, and that's kind of what enables us to be this unkillable, uh, this unkillable hero. Um, at, like as you can see with this long ass fight going on here, uh, or I mean I say fight, but it was literally just me one before in. Um, as long as we're not broken. We can't really die when you go this build, uh, like the hyper spell life seal or whatever. Um, Need to fight. Break is definitely kind of a problem. Um, I don't really know what my solution for that is gonna be. I might wanna, I might wanna go like a halberd or a yules or something. I I would probably wanna go yules, but um. Ronald, careful. Just to like, sure. just to stall the, just to stall like the duration of break. I'll sort this out. But um, yeah, I don't know. We're at a we're at a pretty awkward point in the game now, where the enemy team is just way stronger than us. I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, that looks like game. We certainly did our best. It's a void, bro. We're losing the void. Like, your hero doesn't do anything. I don't know. I don't think you should pick Weaver. Unfortunate that we didn't win. But what can you do? That's just life. <laughs> 